A little bit about the equipment that you're using. You have a, a lot of electronics sitting down here by your foot. A lot of electronics. So uh, many of these things, because this, this instrument, uh, the way that it's amplified is just through some pickups that are uh, mounted on the bridge here, right under the strings. Uh, personally, I don't care for the, the sound of that all that much. And so, uh, but I, I wanted to get this guitar mainly to really explore changing the tone of it and, uh, and being an electric guitar player, I'm used to you know, working with pedals and all that. So if we look down here, the, the way that uh, this, this guitar is designed to, to uh, work with one of these guitar synthesizer units. And uh, so sometimes I utilize that to get some different um, solo uh, notey sounds. things are to help shape the, shape the guitar sound to make it sound a little more acoustic. Also take out frequencies that are really prominent and problematic in the room. And, uh, and so I'm forever having to work with, you know, the space that we're in and to try to adjust, you know, what part of the frequency spectrum is really problematic and gets in the way of the clarity of being able to hear the guitar. Uh, these two units here help to give it some uh, processing, uh, mic emulation, um, and acoustic emulation so that it gives it a much better sound than the average uh, piezo um, sound will offer. And then uh, I like to use a little bit of uh, delay and reverb and the other EQ here is so that I can uh, plug in my, uh, my didgeridoo and work with the same effects uh, as the guitar. And so the guitar and the didgeridoo all get mixed together in my setup and it all comes out as one signal. So. Sometimes it's a little bit problematic for the sound guys to deal with, but uh, but it works pretty well for me because then I can I can use my feet here and adjust the amount of didgeridoo. I can also adjust the amount um, and and uh, control the uh, the uh, the time on the uh, on the delay uh, to work pretty well. And then I also use a little bit of vocal processing, and then I have of course my my foot stomp board, which is pretty important to what we do. Kind of helps keep keep everything uh, uh, pretty in sync, I think. The only reason I, I get into doing the looping is just because it gives me just another tool um, I, I very rarely use looping. Uh, when I do, it's a very specific thing, uh, and I try not to overdo it. You know that there's a real fine line in, in looping, and that's one of the reasons why I, you know, I try not to use it as a crutch, but I use it as a tool. Uh, you know, if I yeah. may, might want to add just a little something, like a little, a little spice to what I'm playing, then I can maybe do a double harmony part or maybe I can put a little rhythm chop down and I can play over that or vice versa or maybe even you know if because you know if you put one fiddle part down it's great if you put a second fiddle part down it's even better third it starts to get really sounding full you put four fiddles down and it's you you've, you've got to have an open mind to really because that's a huge amount of input with four fiddles going on, either chopping or whatever. So that's one of the reasons why my electric violin has the ability to play in cello range, viola range, um, violin oh, range, okay. so that I can add other sounds. <laughs> Drummer 
drummers say that if you're going to play with another drummer, you play what the other drummer is not playing. So you don't play the same thing the other drummer is playing, you play what he's not playing. So if you, he creates space, you can play in that space. So the two at work together like a gear. And I try very hard using electronics as not a crutch or a novelty thing. It's, it's just a little tool that I have that gives me the ability to fit into a little slice of the pie of the music that I play. Um, it is no by means entirely what I do. It's just a small percentage of what I do. It's just um, that's what is driving our genre of music right at the moment. Um, and I would love to go back and play acoustic violin because there's a, there's a lot of nuances I can't play on the electric that I can play on the acoustic.